This is Nev again. And after learning absolute cell references, which is for our GST column, we're now going to do some additions and learn to rank. So let's start here. We want a retail price, which is going to be the... Well, I forgot that if I want to create a formula, I must do equals. Then it's going to be the uh, pre-GST price plus the uh, GST. Easy. I pressed enter then to actually add in the value. Now, because our formatting is looking dodgy, I'm going to come over here, copy the format for this cell, which has got the Pokemon dollar symbol before the number, and just highlight those cells that automatically pastes the format. I'm going to copy that down. And, oh, we've got these... Uh, hash marks it's not an error we just have to widen the column double click we'll widen a little uh, double clicking uh, well, I'll, I'll make it a little wider than that okay so now just check 900 plus 90 gives me 990 all right now I want to work out the profit and really the profit is going to be equal to now, I don't get the GST money, so the profit is going to be the actual markup, the pre-GST price, minus my cost price. So, enter, and we've got profit. Again, we've got the format problem. We'll leave it for a moment. Uh, well, actually, I'll fix it. Here, copy down. Now... I want to do some ranking to work out which of these has the greatest um, rank. Uh, sorry, it has the greatest profit margin. So if I want to put in a rank formula, I'm going to go equals for formula, rank. There are several different ranks that I can have. I always choose this rank equal, which means if I have two people on the same result, so let's say equal second and third it will put second second and then go to fourth all right I'll need to open a bracket and then I can go to my cells whoa sorry I let me go back again rank equal and then tab and it actually opens the bracket for me all right you'll see that it's asking for a number which is the number that I want to rank that will be this profit number here and then I want to have, so I have to add comma, and it now wants a reference, uh, and I'm going to rank it amongst all of these items here. And I don't need to worry about the order, I just want it from first, the biggest, to the last, and so that's the default. So I'm now going to do enter, and it should add that closing bracket. All right. Now, so this is ranked 18th. It looks like one of the lower profits. When I copy this down, at first sight, it looks okay. I've certainly got a problem down here. I'd expect that because that's still blank. Looks okay, but the reality is it's not. Okay, here I'm ranking against J4 to J27. You can see that I'm ranking against that. Now, here... I'm ranking against J5. Look, my range has shifted. So I've got a problem and what I need to do, sorry, escape. What I need to do is come up here and I need to make these rows absolute. So from the last lesson, if I make those absolute with dollar signs, enter, and now I copy down, then uh, I've still got that NA at the bottom, but here I'm still ranking in the same uh, range. So my reference area remains absolute because of those dollar signs. I'm going to push escape just to get out of that formula, and that's okay. Now I want to copy this last formula down one cell, and that will remove the NA. And so we've got this one 
which is a max potion, whatever that is, uh, as our top rank. Uh, 